This video tutorial is on saving your changes in Song Surgeon. Let's say you've opened a song, you've set some loops up, even some markers, perhaps changed the key or tempo, and now you want to save changes. Well, you have two options. The first is to save it as a project file, and to do that, you go to the File button, and you can see here Save Project or Save the Project As. What a project file is, is an internal file format used only by Song Surgeon. And what it does is that when you make changes to a file, and then you save it as a project file, it recalls and saves all of those settings. So the markers that you see here, M1 and M2 in blue, the two loops, L1 and L2, the tempo at 75%, all of these changes are saved in a project file, an SSP file. And when you open that file at some point in the future, it will open up the same song and it will apply all of these same settings to the song. Essentially, when you open it, it will look again just like it looks right now. So that's what a project file is. And just to reiterate, this project file is something that's internal. It can't be used externally. So if you've made changes and you want to save those changes and be able to use them in a different audio system, like put them on a CD or move them to your MP3 player or something like that, then you need to export those changes. And the export button is here and you've got several different options and we'll talk about those in a subsequent video. But let me just state the obvious here. If you export, you will export whatever changes you've made to this file. But since you will be creating a standard audio file, like a WAV file or an MP3 or MP4, it will not contain any of these other metadata type features, meaning the markers or the loops or anything like that, because an audio file is incapable of storing that type of data. So that will conclude this video on the differences between an internal project file versus exporting and creating something that you can use externally.